time though. Hello guys, welcome to the channel Final Whistle, the channel that brings you the very best of football news, analysis, post and pre-match analysis, fans reaction and any news relating to sporting activities. Still on the news is the most talk transfer news and update of the 2024-2025 summer transfer the Nigerian star boy and currently the CAF best player Victor Osime. Remember we reported his move from Napoli to Galatasaray in a season long loan with new release clause amounting to 75 million euros instead of the 130 million pound as stated by Napoli and this release clause now can be triggered by clubs as soon as January with the loan club covering 90% of his salary. You understand that we reported this news and uh, we know this transfer was, was, was a saga because uh, Chelsea were in the mix, um, Al Ali were in the mix and uh, Napoli made it difficult for both teams because uh, Chelsea wanted him as soon as the last season ended but uh, Napoli made it difficult. Al Ali came into the picture, Al Ali were the most comfortable side that came into the picture because they had the money, they had the structure, they had their plan and Napoli frustrated them at the end and eventually Al uh, Ali had to, to resort back to their plan B in signing the uh, uh, the English forward Ivan Tony and we saw him unveil this today in the Al Ali stadium and uh, they actually composed an item for him too, you understand too. Uh, Victor got his move to Galatasaray, the Turkish side, the biggest team in Turkish uh, football. I, like I said, they are more like the Liverpools and the Manchester United of Turkey because they are the most successful club, having won 20, 24 titles to their name with about 17 League Cups and the 18 Super Cups. Uh, we also uh, uh, reported that they, are, they are the only Turkish team to have won UEFA competitions, having won the Super Cup in the year 2000 and the uh, UEFA Winners' Cup in the same year year 2000 you understand so victor had his medical yesterday and has passed medicals he was unveiled yesterday in a well-packed stadium with over 40,000 spectators it was revealed that he has opted for the number 45 jc as he believes this was his good luck number that he wore back at belgian club charloy you know reported that after the under 17s he was signed by wolfsburg but uh, he, he was still a young prospect at that time and he had no time and uh, as at that time the then manager Bruno Lombardia, which was supposed to be the uh, Super Eagles coach, loaned him out to Cheroloy, the Belgium uh, club side, where he actually shined the ball. And when he was playing for Belgium side, Cheroloy, he, he actually rocked the number 45 JC. You understand? Many people will, will be looking at the inspiration behind that. That is uh, Victor, uh, Victor Simeon trying to do a, a Balotelli on us. No, uh, this was his first uh, number that he actually rocked when he went to his loan club. Uh, in Belgium. After that, uh, he came back to the to Wolfsburg, which they actually sold him to Lille, where he, he played remarkably well. I remember the match he played against Chelsea back then at Lille. He actually scored. That match ended 1-1, if I was not mistaken. You understand? After that time, he was signed by Napoli, where in the pre-seasons of Napoli, in his first season, he worked in number 15 JC before he was actually given the number 9. Uh, and as we, have, as we want to report, is that the number 9 is currently occupied by Mario Icardi. The Argentina striker, you understand. So I think it's very hard for Galatasaray to actually give Victor the uh, uh, the number nine jersey. Though he didn't actually request for it because personally, it was reported that he actually chose the number nine, the number forty five jersey, as he had actually rocked it before, and then uh, it has it has actually made him good luck. Like I said, uh, in world football, in modern day football, it's hard for us to call six world class strikers under the age of twenty to twenty seven now. Without mentioning Victor Simeon as the third or fourth, uh, I've, I've tried to compile a list where I call the likes of Kylian Mbappe, I call the likes of Eli Haaland. Uh, I know people will call Lewandowski, but they are 30 plus. I'm talking about a young prospect now. You, you, after you call Eli Haaland, you call the Mbappes. I think Victor Simeon is next on that list. You understand? With over 230 career appearances so far, club appearances so far, with over 120 goals, 20 assists, 20 yellow cards, and just a single record in his game. That's a pretty decent disciplinary record he has had just a single record we have seen big players having multiple disciplinary issues just to tell you that victor is a law a law abiding uh citizen law abiding player he likes to follow the rules it's just his passion that takes a toll on him sometimes you understand and uh, we also want to report the influence uh victor senior has had over the turkish league because as he stands is the most valuable player in turkey you understand after he might be i believe he's a uh, uh, Amrabat recently signed to Fanabachi, you understand? So I think 
just to show you how big Victor Osime is. He's a 25 years old with promising talent. Like I said, he's in his prime and he's going to do remarkable numbers for Galatasaray. Uh, just also note about the influence he has brought to his club side. We saw a lot of Nigerians, Nigerians on a wicked share, ah, on a bad. We saw a lot of Nigerians on following Napoli on all social media handles. Their followers, both on X, both on TikTok, both on YouTube and everything, have started dropping drastically ever since uh, Victor Sime made his switch from Italy to Turkey. You understand? And we have seen massive boost in Galatasaray's uh, uh, social media account from their TikTok to their Twitter. To their, to their to their facebook to everything you can call on social media has been increasing massively as Nigerians have trooped down to galatasaray media handles just to follow them this has to boil down to the support nigerians show to each other on a daily basis whether we actually benefit from such or not if he's my brother he's my brother he must not necessarily be uh, my mother that gave birth to him so far he's a nigerian uh, you understand so Nigerians are actually doing justice on that note because uh, uh most of nigeria most Nigerians believe that uh, Napoli didn't actually do justice on how they actually treated Victor Simeon. That haven't won in the Scudetto after 30 something years. It was no bench talk. And uh, they felt that he was supposed to live in an honorable way. You understand? If possible, send him forth the way we see Madrid do players. But uh, uh, Napoli didn't do it that way. Instead, they actually shipped him down to Turkey. And Turkey came as a last resort for him. And like I said, not to question Victor Simeon's uh, ability or anything, like I said. He will ball, he will score a lot of goals, and Turkish fans will fall in love with him. You understand? So, looking at the the, the Turkish squad, I think there are a lot of youths in that in that squad. And let us not forget the fact that this is the same Galatasaray that actually won Manchester United last season in the Champions League, taking four points out of six against them, winning them three two and drawing three three. You understand? He has the likes of uh, Ziyech to work with, and I think he will play good football. Dries Martins is also there; he will play good football. And uh, that's by the way. We also want to talk about um, uh, the the arrival and the we are waiting for Victor Sime in the camp. He, he actually communicated with the with the NFF that because of the transfer issues, he he has to delay his um his um his arrival to the camp. I think that was that was actually reported by my colleagues Ugo and Ay that we had uh, the, the the squad list was actually a 23 man squad list as at this morning, and we only had. 20 players that are still short of Victor Sime, Pelletian, Achamadu, Kaokoye. So I think Victor Sime's excuse is justified on why he's not in the survival squad. I think to be a, to be more of like a homecoming to, to, for Victor Sime when he comes, when he arrives in Ugo. Like I said, uh, survival can actually do with the happy Victor Sime down two weeks ago when his future was not sorted out. So this is just me wishing Victor Sime the very best and the best. In his career, like I said, it's a season-long loan, and regardless, it can actually trigger any big club can actually trigger uh, this release clause in January. So don't forget to follow us on Facebook 931. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, now known as X Final 931. Don't forget to follow our 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 TikTok account on Final 931, and of course, stay glued to our YouTube page where we bring you the best, the full version of news, updates, anything, sporting activities. Final Whistle is the channel you need to bank on. Thank you very much.